Welcome to our beginners. Let's make a start and see what we're going to do. Uh, one absolutely for our beginners. So let's... Uh, so, look, this is what you can do. When you get your paper, wet it like this. Just wet it. Don't be frightened of putting water on. Right, no. Now, the next thing, you, you need some ultramarine blue, which everybody knows what that is, don't they? And just put a couple of blabs on like that. Right. Then get some yellow ochre and put a bab on like that. Through that, through them bits you've left, I think, you know, just there. Just go through them like that. Yellow ochre, yeah? Or all sienna, really. Now do that. Now, that's just guide on for your starter. So we'll put you some, now we'll put some C in here, about here, uh, like that. There's some C for you, like that. Now, you've got your sky and your C. Now, can you do that for me? Do what I tell you and do that, and leave it. Now you say, oh, I'm going, I'm going to mess about with that. It's not nice enough. Leave it alone. <laughs> well, yes, John, what is it? It's, yes, it's buckling there. Yes, you're right, John, it is buckling. But well, just pull it out like that. But forget it. Yes, Sam. Oh, shall we? Yes, leave it just as it is like that. And everything will be okay. Now, any more questions before we carry on? Right, everybody know what they're doing? You've got your paints, and everybody got your paints out. Right, off we go. So the next bit, it's going to be raw sienna or yellow ochre. Now, I don't know which you've got. If you've got so which you've got, it doesn't matter. Let's put some sand in, shall we? Eh? Like that. Well, <coughs> a bit of dirt in your brush, did you say? Well... A, say I have a bit of blue in sea like that. Doesn't matter. Put it on. Put it on like that. Any more questions? No? Okay, carry on. What do you want, Sam? Oh, a hill, yeah. <coughs> we'll put a hill in if you like, yeah. Try some ultramarine and a little bit of orange. Orange? Yeah, orange. You say orange? Yeah, a little bit of ultramarine and orange. And put your put your hill just at the back there like that. Yeah, well, hey, it does look right like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah. Now just wash your brush out a bit. Get some uh, lemon yellow in your brush, right? Everybody got your lemon yellow? Yeah. Here we go. Just across the bottom of that hill you've just put there. Right. Now what shall we do next? Oh, this cough of mine. <coughs> I'm sorry everybody, you're going to have to put up with me. Right. Uh, is it wet yet, that? Yeah, it is. Well, get that air dry. Your wife will have an air dry, surely. Of course she has. Uh, it's up to you if you want to go and have a drink of tea now before we carry on. I'll just have one myself. Okay, let it dry. It'll be there when you come back. Oh, they're nice to eat that. Okay, now, settle down now, everybody. Now, what uh, do you want to do next? Is, uh, uh, a bit of the sand again, this time. Add a little bit of burnt umber to your yellow ochre, or whatever it is you're going to use. Raw sand or yellow ochre. It'll be one of them, won't it? Now just come across with it and straighten the bottom of your lake a bit with it, like that. There we are. That's your yellow ochre with a bit of the, uh, your burnt umber. Burnt umber is a darker brown, isn't it? I've not got burnt umber. You said, I have burnt umber. I told you last week to bring burnt umber with you. Yeah. Okay, there we are now. 
get that smaller brush, that size 8, you know your size 8, you've got a size 8 everybody, doesn't matter if it's nylon, half nylon, just get your burnt umber again, a bit stronger this time, put a bit, rub a bit more into your palette, um, just let's, just put a line across here, a little line, like that, say. I've got that, and then put a little layer of trees here. And you can have it coming into your water. Like that. There. Okay. Now, same on the other side. In your water this time, from here. Okay, now, get your air dryer out, that. Um, now, it looks like if we put some here, you can have this like as though it's, it's a step out of your, your land. Do that if you want. And now, some more burnt umber, touch it in. Now we'll do it, suppose, like there's a, out, just out here, there's a, there's a bit of a tree. So we'll have that tree coming here, two branches on it like that, and it's made with it. Now that might be right, might not be right, but it's supposed to be a tree. Now you see this here, it's, it's bled anti into this bit here. Now I'm going to put a bit of blue, see that ultramarine? Look how dirt that's gone. And then I think, looking at it, we'll just try. We'll want a little bit of dark here, see. Just put that in like that. Little bit of dark. You can have a bit of, touch it in there too. Same time. Right. Now, watch this. Get. Get yourself a, a, a thin brush, it's called a lining brush, like this. Very thin, or a script brush. Got flash. Oh. So, what we can do now with that, we're going to make a tree. So this tree, it's made out of brown and blue, or brown and paints grey. And now that gives you a nice dark like a black or whatever we want. Okay, so now we'll, we'll put a little tree in here. Now I'm going to watch what I do here. And I uh, I come I'll do a straight one, a straight tree. Watch with side of my brush, rough, rough like that. But bits of coming out like that. Got that. Now another one. We'll have that like that, and it's panting a bit that way. And just another one, like that. Rough, like I've done it. A bit more browning. Now then, put a short one and a short one. Put a short, thick one. Like that. Now you can do that. Now, just here, there's some bushes with some spikes sticking up. Like that. Just under there. Like that. And then there's another tree set. We pull another tree just here, a small one on its own. And then all you need to do is just go dots. Like that. If we can't do any dots. And we put one here. A dead one. And put another set of dots, wiggly dots. I just touch under there. Like that, and touch under there. And just with just touch under that one. Right. Now look, if I get that there like that. 
get some yellow, lemon yellow, or some cad yellow. You've heard of cad yellow. Everybody knows cad yellow, don't you? You've all got that yellow, haven't you? I, I've not got any. Well, I see if he'll lend you some. The other lad near you. Okay, so you've got that, and you mix it. You mix it now with some blue. That yellow, you can mix it with some blue. You can mix it with some. That's dark blue, like ultramarine blue. You can mix it with Payne's grey. I put some Payne's grey in it. Watch. I'm going to put some Payne's grey now. It's up to you out there whether you bother with Payne's grey or whatever, or your brown or whatever you want. But it won't. Okay. So it's get ready now. So when you've done that, with your brush here like that, just do this, see. Point it to it. Like that. Got that. Point it to it. This little thin brush. Point it to, to that middle of that. Point it to that tree. Point it from here, if you're over here, point it to that tree. You're here. Let's put a little bit of bread in it or something. A bit of burnt sienna in it. Now look. Point it to that tree. Point it to that branch that you've put there on that. Point it back now. And have one in the middle of the tree here. Now you can have some growth of ivy coming down here. And you can have that there. Now, now if you want, you can put little bits of trees over there. With a little bit of a reflection there in the water. And that little bit of a tree there on there. Now, that put your name on it now, and that's your painting. Now, we just put the final touches you can put there. Watch, put a little bit of fence in there and it'll make a big difference when you look after at the painting. Now you've done a landscape for me. So everybody, I'm going to see you next week. And what I want you to do is to bring this back and show me what you've done with it. Do a painting and come back with it. Show me just how you've done with it. So bye bye everybody. Take care. See you next week.